So this video is going to concentrate on looking at the structure of the respiratory epithelium and the layers of the respiratory um, tract. So this is the trachea. The lumen is here. The respiratory epithelium is just here. If I zoom in on the respiratory epithelium, move it where you can see it a bit better. The basement membrane is here. There are some tall columnar cells, there are the nuclei there, tall columnar cells here and at the surface of that we can see some long things protruding out from the top and these are cilia and the cilia waft to move mucus uh, towards the mouth from deeper down in the respiratory tree. The mucus is there to trap pathogens and particulate matter and keep the lower parts of the respiratory tree clean. So the cilia are surface projections containing microtubules and they beat rhythmically to move the mucus. It's called the mucociliary escalator. These long um, columnar cells here are the epithelial cells um, and they are not very organised in the respiratory epithelium. Although there is only one cell thick, there are some cells that only sit on the basement membrane at the bottom, stem cells and neuroendocrine cells, and don't reach the lumen. And because of this, there's a bit of uh, higgledy-biggledy nature of the nuclei. The nuclei are kind of disorganised and they're at various levels within the cell. As well as the few triangular cells that are at the bottom uh, that don't reach the lumen, there are also cells uh, which secrete mucus. These are goblet cells. You can see one just here. You can see one over here. There are a number of them here that secrete the mucus that traps the particulate matter. So because of this, although it's a sort of simple columnar epithelium, it looks quite disorganised and people thought initially that it might be stratified, i.e. layered. It's not, so it's called pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium. It sits here on its basement membrane, underneath which is a lamina propria. The lamina propria provides structural and nutrient support for the epithelium. And beneath that, in this particular um, sample, there are some glands. These are connected to the mucosal surface. And these are producing a mixture of serous and mucus secretions. We have a variety of different types of mucus that we can produce in our respiratory systems. And then deep to that, we find some hyaline cartilage. And cartilage, hyaline cartilage is so named because it's quite glassy and amorphous looking. It's very structureless, the, the matrix. The actual cells are these little pink things here. They're called chondrocytes and they sit in a little lacuna or hole here. The matrix is type 2 collagen. If we just go back down again, you can see the various layers, the epithelium with basement membrane and lamina propria being the mucosa. This bit extending from here to the cartilage is the submucosa and this contains the glands which are linked to the epithelium. And then we have the C-shaped rings of cartilage there's cartilage in the trachea because it needs to remain open, the airway needs to remain open and the, the airway is so large that smooth muscle wouldn't be able to hold it open so it needs cartilage to hold it open um, and the cartilage is uh, full uh, circumference cartilage with a small gap between the two ends um, in the trachea and in a moment we will look at some bronchi and we will see that the cartilage distribution is slightly different there. Thank mm -hmm. you.